All right, finally, finally hooked up this morning. See if we can't get this one in. Doesn't feel like a real big fish or anything, but nice starter fish anyway. Ball of a little fish. <laughs> oh, easy, big guy. Beautiful. Man, he is short, but man, he is fat. Let's get him back. All right, there you go. We're out here in West Virginia chasing these West Virginia blue cats today, and and uh, it's the first time the river has actually had a u-shape in it i mean it rained last night and it's getting ready to come back up it's been up and down up and down real bad but first time in a while it's actually had a bend in the graft graft where it's getting ready to come back up and not a v where it's went straight down and straight back up so still a lot of current um a lot of trash river's still muddy and nasty moot like i said a lot of current but uh we're out here we're trying to catch some of these west virginia blue cats today that was the first one. We've been here for a while, almost 30 minutes in this one spot. So I figured it's gonna it's gonna be a slow bite today, but we're gonna get after it and see what we can find. Uh, right now we're fishing just a, a, a slow drop off that goes and there's just a bunch of scattered brush, you know, all the way from the bank out. We're sitting in about uh, a 25, 26 foot right here, but it drops down into about 35 to 36 foot behind us. So. Just scattering baits out, uh, you know, in that in that cover and timber, and uh, you know, seeing what seeing what we can get to come out of it. That was a nice starter fish. So, stick around. We'll see what we can do. Finally, shoo. It has been a long dry spell. I fished probably, I don't know, four, three or four spots since that last small one. And I'm finally getting hooked back up with the fish. Another small one, small, waist out. Pretty little thing, West Virginia blue cats. So, you know, we caught that first one first thing this morning and, and I thought it was gonna be pretty good. You know, like I was saying, that this river, this is the first time it's actually had a, a belly in it, you know, where, the, where it's not going straight down or straight up. And I, I thought it was gonna be good, but it's been relatively slow today. I haven't really marked fish. I uh, finally come up through here. There's like a secondary channel, you know, over towards the bank where it comes off the bank and it get down into like 32, 33, 34 foot. And then as it gets out towards the further towards the middle, it actually comes up and then goes back down into the main channel out in the river. And I marked a few fish for once. I mean, I haven't really marked any fish at all today. And, 
and caught another small one. So I don't know. Very, very tough, very slow. You know, the fish, they're not even, you know, taking it like a blue cat. You know, normally a blue cat is just, you know, that just all or nothing. It's really slow and just uh, takes forever for them to eat. And we got another one biting over here. Another small fish. And then, you know, water temperature's 42 degrees. These fish are not really fighting. They're just kind of, you know, coming to the top, like I've said before, and curling their tail and just kind of rolling. They just come off. That one come off and we got one going. I've definitely found a few that's the whole point of today you know is just to find some it's taking me taking me all day I'm gonna try not to lose this one but when I get this one in I'm gonna show you guys why I lost that other one and, uh, and it's kind of the downfall to one of my favorite favorite catfishing rigs but I want to show you guys I'm sure you guys can see that fish back there on top of the water, you know, he's not really even fighting, he's just kind of rolling. Oh, watch this left rod, it's going down too. Uh, about the same size as that last one. We ain't found that big one yet, but hey, we'll take them. All right, now, like I was saying there a minute ago while I had that fish on, you know, I lost the one right before that. And I said it was, I lost it on one of my favorite rigs. Uh, it's like a go-to rig for me for catfishing, period but it does have a downfall. And that downfall is those two hooks can get hooked together, okay? You know, this being a double hook rig, that fish was able to flop around and, and get this hook in it, wrapped in that one, and was able to actually pull the hook out of itself. So that is a downfall to using this double hook rig. Awesome rig, one of my favorite rigs, but like everything, you know, there are some downfalls to it, but but uh, don't let that deter you from using it. It's a great rig, great rig. All right, let's take a look at what, you know, what it was that I just caught those, those three little fish off of, and I, you know, give you guys an idea of how this, you know, this little secondary channel is and just how small it is so as you can see right now we're in about 25 foot 27 foot of water and as we go straight into the bank here we're only you know 50 yards off the bank and you'll see that it gradually goes down so we'll just go straight in towards the bank here
and it's going to drop down we'll drop down to about you know 33 34 35 foot depending on where you're at in here and it's just real small it ain't but maybe you know 25 yards wide at the most and you can see it comes right back up here at the bank so that gives you guys an idea of what we just caught those three off of so let's see if we can't find another one and you know they're not really on any certain sort of structure in here we just you know was easing up through the secondary channel and just kind of come up on a little group of them so see if we can't find another group see if we can't put another one in the boat Looks like we lucked into another small one. Nice little channel cat. I think we've kind of starting to get a little bit of a pattern. So, you know, like I was showing you guys in that little little trough, uh, found another little group of them. Had a couple bites, but uh, you know this group wasn't as active as that first group that we was just on. But now we just need to find a good one. Now something else I'm noticing too is it's taking these fish, you know, a good long time to before they finally commit to eating. You know, they're just kind of messing with it. You know, not really taking it down like a like a blue cat was and I know that was a I know that was a channel cat but you know they're not being aggressive but need to get it done though about to run out of time so I probably got one more spot left Let's see if we can't find a find another little group of them in here and maybe we'll put a good one in the boat Finally, one with some backbone. Man, this fish feels heavy. I hope he's as big as what he feels, but he took it down good. I mean, he played with it for a minute, but he finally, you know, smashed it on down. Even like them small ones, I mean, he feels heavy, but he's not fighting. He's just kind of, just kind of swimming. I 
Now I'm trying to keep him from coming up in the back. He's not a real, real big fish, but he's a good fish. Definitely a solid West Virginia blue cat. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's putting on a good show, that's for sure. Yes. All right, everybody. There you go. Beautiful fish. Great specimen. A specimen of uh, you know what West Virginia is doing with these things. Beautiful, beautiful blue cat. It's getting back in the water. There he goes. Well, I tell you, it's been a <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a slow day. I mean, it took us all day to finally figure out something that was going on. And, and uh, you know, these fish that we're catching now, they're not on that heavy structure like we started with this morning, and that really surprises me, you know. But uh, we found them grouped up. In a little isolated area in this secondary channel you know and they're in here but uh man it's been it's been fun I ain't caught you know a whole bunch of fish today and it's been tough the last couple times out here on the pond but nice to finally get one get one with some backbone to him you know not a not a monster by no means but you know here in west virginia that's a good solid solid blue cat so been a great day i want to thank you all for joining me uh hope hopefully you guys was able to take something from this video that you'll be able to use wherever you're from and uh help yourself you know catch more more fish but thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one